What is good everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we'll be showing you guys the best class setups and the weapons and attachments to use in Black Ops 6. This will not be a CDL meta video. You can let me know in the comments down below if you want to see the CDL class setups all the pros are using. But for right now, uh, we will be showing you guys all the best attachments and best guns to use for public matches right now. Uh, so we have the AccuSpot Reflex. This one's very popular alongside the Kepler Micro Reflex. Personally, I like the way the Micro Reflex looks, but the AccuSpot Reflex, I for some reason feel like you get less visual recoil uh so it, I, I like using it i've been finding a lot of success with it for the muzzle i'm a big fan of ported compensator i feel like everyone's in between compensator and ported uh, but you get vertical recoil control on both the same but you get first shot recoil control with the ported compensator as well which is a big help because that first shot is has slightly more control with the barrel i would say use reinforce is probably the best one because you get damage range and bullet velocity bullet velocity is always very good and then damage range when you're in the long range gunfights with these with these weapon with this weapon on the maps it's very good as well so i would highly recommend you use a reinforced barrel the under barrel that i like will be the vertical foregrip vertical foregrip uh it just has tons of horizontal recoil, recoil control magazine you can use extended mag one your reload is a little bit slower but you have 45 bullets so you have to reload a lot less and it just gives you a ton of bullets i use quick draw grip ergonomic is pretty good but i feel like quick draw grip just aims down sight so quickly that i think it's amazing um then i'll use balance stock for the strafing speed movement speed hip fire movement speed and aim walking movement speed very good for all the movements your premier gun you're strafing back and forth it's very good and then you just get initial movement speed so you're just naturally faster with this attachment on uh a laser i don't really use a laser and then a fire mod i'll use the recoil springs to gain extra recoil and vertical or horizontal and vertical recoil control and you can see this one in the firing range right now it is an absolute beam it does not move at all even like the really far character all the way down there it beams them and now let's say you don't want to run gunfighter you want to run perk greed no problem this is the amos i use is actually the competitive one right now that's the best one accuspot reflex with the ported compensator the barrel is going to be the gain twist barrel because they're trying to ga damage barrels but that's a whole discussion for another time so gain twist barrel uh the rear grip is going to be quick draw and the stock is going to be the balanced stock this is the best five attachment amos for like competitive but if i'm playing public matches i will switch the gain twist barrel out for the reinforced barrel this is my five attachment amos i would use now this weapon the model l is a top two ar in the game i would say this and the xm4 are the two best ars you can use so i'd highly recommend using them because they both kill in four bullet a four bullet ar is very good here's what i use accuspot reflex ported compensator again reinforced barrel for the damage rate and bullet velocity under barrel you want to do vertical foregrip uh, i feel like that one is just so good i can try recoil extended mags again uh, rear grip you want to do quick draws for the quick ads this one i like to, i it depends depends i think i like balance stock to make it a little bit quicker because if you use any of these like the combat stock or the heavy stock you get flinch resistance but it's not as fast balance stock gives you a lot of different movement speed because this gun already beams and it kills in four bullets so it's a very easy to control the recoil i'll show you guys right now the model l the stacked model L with gunfighter It's a very, very good weapon. Here is the five attachment model L, AccuSpot Reflex, Ported Compensator, Reinforced Barrel, Quick Draw Grip, and Balanced Stock. And then here, going to the firing range, and I will show you that even with only five attachments, it still does not move that much. So you can run per greed, you can, run, you can stack all the perks you like, and you really don't have to worry about getting too much recoil. This gun, its fire rate's pretty good, and it doesn't really recoil that much and it kills in four bullets and with the jackal pdw you're going to want to run perk greed mostly because you're going to be running around the map so you want flak jacket or you want tack mask with fast hands double time you want to be able to stack uh perks with this gun so which one to use is ported compensator reinforced barrel uh, you want to use the ranger foregrip for the horizontal and recoil or the horizontal recoil control and the sprinting movement speed just so you get around the maps faster your slides are faster your overall movement's faster with the rear grip you still want to use quick drop because it gives the best ads last but not least this for the stock will be the balance stock for the movement the strafing the hip fire and the aim walking movement speed um, so essentially you're getting a lot of movement speed from the balance stock and the ranger foregrip so you're able to just move around the map as quickly as possible and even with these attachments you're not going to be um, getting too much recoil at range it could be a little tough you might have to tap your shots like that but um 
up close is the most important gun fights and this gun does kill in four bullets up close so one two three four one two three four five or six that's six at medium range wow but up close which most of the gummies you'll be taking with this one kills in four the XM4 is the best weapon in the game, and personally, I think you should use the Kepler Micro Reflex. I don't. I think it just looks and feels better with this gun. Uh, you're gonna want to use Ported Compensator for the vertical recoil control and first shot recoil control. The barrel still reinforced because it's just the overall best barrel. With under barrel, still the vertical gives you tons of horizontal recoil control. With this gun, the fire rate is very high, so you do want to use Extended Mag One. As, as also, as you can see, there's no cons with extended mag one or fast mag one with this gun compared in comparison to other ARs, which there is a con where you reload slower. So you get 45 or you get 15 extra bullets, I believe. Your rear grip, you still wanna use quick draw grip. So a lot of similarities and then balance stock. Balance stock, I just think adds so much more than these other stocks. Cause if you use like heavy stock, for example, your gun feels a lot clunkier, your movement doesn't feel as good and you just feel a lot slower on the map. Balance stock, helps fix all those things so balance stock last but not least recoil springs and um this is the overall best gun in the game i feel like the fire right the fire rate is perfect and um even at range you're still able to beam with this weapon even just with the kepler micro reflex and the balance stock and with the perk greed xm4 you want to go back to the micro reflex ported compensator the barrel is the reinforced with your rear grip being quick draw grip stock balance stock and this gun it will four bullet if you hit three headshots one two three then a chest shot four but um if you do not hit a headshot it's just one two three four five so it's five bullets but the fire rate is so quick that it's okay that it takes a couple extra bullets sometimes just because the fire rate is so quick and even at long range with five attachments, you're still able to beam with this gun. This is why this is probably the overall best weapon in the game. The GPR is a do-it-all weapon. It's like the mix of a sub and an AR. It's technically an AR, but um, you're gonna be running around a lot with it. It's fire rate's great. It's damage is great. It doesn't have much recoil. So I use the Kepler Micro Reflex, ported compensator, the barrel, the reinforced, under barrel is your vertical foregrip and quick draw grip with it as you can see in the firing range it's fire rate's good it has a little bit of a kick to it but it's a very good run and gun ar definitely this and the xm4 are probably the top two like run and gun ars whether while the amos and the model l are kind of like the slower post up and just beam across the map but this is the more getting in your face getting mixy um and just making plays around the map and this is a top two smg in the game the pp919 we will not be using an optic for it we will use the iron sight it is ported compensator reinforced barrel the rear grip will be a quick draw grip for the ads time and then we will use no stock for the hip fire movement speed the movement speed in general the straight movement speed so we'll be able to aim down sights and move and then we will use recoil springs to help control the recoil because this gun, of course, at SMG range isn't good. So you need the most help with the recoil as you can get. Uh, as you can see, the strafe is pretty fast with this weapon when you do have these attachments on. And it's not that bad. The recoil is not that bad at all. Um, the visual recoil isn't crazy. Like we're killing these two people easily. Of course, it takes a little bit longer to kill at range with an SMG, but it's still pretty much beaming. And when you're going this far, this is when you're gonna have to like tap your gun like this to make sure you get the kill. But other than that, these are just easy kills right here. And there's tons of ammo in this weapon. You're never really gonna run out of ammo. 64 bullets. So you, and this is not with extended mags or anything. So this is a great gun to use if you're spawn trapping and just running around, cause you really never have to reload. The best pistol setup in the game will have to be with the Grekova. It's the automatic pistol. Use ported compensator, barrel use reinforced. You can use a fast mag on it as well. Your rear grip being the quick draw and your fire mods you want to use rapid fire on this uh thing because it is automatic and the rapid fire makes you shoot that much quicker and it just guarantees kills up close this pistol is so good if you have someone hurt and you pull this pistol out you're getting the free kill every single time guaranteed this pistol is honestly like an smg up close it absolutely shreds last but not least are going to be the perks the perks you want to run uh ninja is great to be a little bit more quiet but then you can also use a fast hand so you can swap weapons you could throw tacticals and lethals and then extends the fuses when you throw back grenades so if you pick a grenade off the ground it resets not fully but a little bit so it gives you more time to throw it back 
uh, and then you use double time just so you can get around the map quicker you absolutely need it especially off the break of games or if you're playing search and destroy you want to get places as quickly as possible uh, to get map control so you absolutely need that and then you can either depending on where you play if you're sitting in the hill a lot or you're planning the bomb search and destroy for your team you probably want flak jacket but if you're just running around and you don't want to get stunned badly or flash or anything you can put on tack mask um these ones could be switched back and forth but i would say these are the main four perks people are using at the moment so um you can just like i said go to perk read and right now people aren't using specialties as much for like the competitive cdl rule set so these are like the main ones for the cdl rule set as well